Hi, I'm Ash Bidardi, and this is Emily Ad. Today's Valentine's Day, and today I got an interesting question. Hey, Ashby, Kyle asked, what was your first kiss? So, um, this is the story of my first ridiculous kiss thing. So once upon a time, I was in eighth grade, which is sad and disgusting. That was awkward as balls. And one day, uh, I was dating this girl, and we worked in the haunted cave together. And we decided to do that dumb thing that teenagers who are dating that are working in the cave decide to do, where they both get, like, a job together in a place that no one will ever come check up on them. And we got a really good place for that. We worked in a FX booth that floated on an underground lake, um... The only way to get to it was by a rickety ass bridge that was like dangerous to be around. And the entire thing was surrounded by walls that like no one would be able to see through. So nobody was ever going to check up on us. Everything is cold and moist and awful, and we're sitting there alone and kind of shaking, so we're like cuddling now, and it's cutish. Um and then at at some point we got to the point that we noticed that like it was really slow that day. So we weren't really running the effect very often, and so we were just, like, talking a lot, and it got to the point that we were like, hey, so, like, we decided that we were going to kiss. We were discussing, like, how we were going to go about doing this, because, like, I didn't know anything about the whole, like, thing, and it was really weird. So she explained, just earlier that day, she had heard a commercial on the radio for Diet Pepsi, and in the commercial, one guy explained to another guy that the easiest way to make out with a girl is to make your tongue go in a figure eight shape. Like, I didn't do that. No, I, I couldn't bring myself to do that. That was, like, ridiculous. And I was like, what the hell? And tongues were creepy anyway. We did the good old-fashioned, simple, nobody moves after the lips touch and you hold it there for a very long period of time. And then afterwards, you play it off like it was awesome. To demonstrate, this is a mouth... This is also a mouth. Read the reactions on my face to see what's going on in my head. No, that was great. Yeah, that was fantastic. Go team. Yeah. It was really awkward. It was so incredibly awkward. It was ridiculous. And that was the story of my first incredibly awkward underground in incredibly cold, moist locations kiss. Do I have to tell the other one? So, and then there's a sub story that everyone thinks is adorable. And I guess it's Valentine's Day. It is now the end of my junior year of high school. And this is the story of, of, because I, you know, I mentioned the fact that there was no tongue involved in this kiss. Tongues are scary. Uh, this is the story of the first um, tongue kiss thing. Jenna's a cock. So yeah, it's the end of my junior year of high school, and my friend is graduating. So he has a graduation party and invites all the bitches, and me and my girlfriend at the time kept making these jokes like, oh, LOL, what if we went into a closet and, like, LOL made out, LOL, because... I spoke in chat speak, apparently. <laughs> so we go outside, and there's, like, a fire, and we're all, like, hanging out around the fire. There's, like, this shed, and everybody keeps, like, going into the shed, and we're, like, blasting metal music over the stereo, and everybody's, like, just hanging out. And then at some point, for some reason, um, she and I got, like, locked in the shed, and it's really dark, and we kind of had this, like, derpy and fucking adorable moment where, like, the two of us danced to the metal music on the radio, like like actually like kind of like danced and it was ridiculous in the dark and we were like against the wall and we were like hugging really close and then I kissed her and it was fantastic um and then afterward I was like oh that was awesome was that okay and so I was kind of like freaking out and it was ridiculous and then like later like a few hours later I asked her like so so like if you were to objectively rate that experience uh, how, how was that? And I think I got a decent rating, uh, if I recall correctly. It was a fun evening. We played on monkey bars, and we played video games in the basement, and it was really a good day.
and it's close to my heart. Um, yep, those are the stories of my my first awkward kiss and my first awesome kiss. So yeah, Sometimes now I'm all filled with like warm, fuzzy feelings. Anyways, I'll talk to you kids later. Peace. Happy oh. Valentine's Day. Hey, hand me that bag, please. We're, we're, we're just not the bride. Oh my god, I'm sorry. We're kind of slow. Even us that we take the same situation. Ashby! Woo, I am lightheading! Oh, Ashby! Kawaii desune! Doki doki! Oh, so desune!